So now, let's discuss naman another method. Bukod dun sa EO moment method natin to solve for the reaction sa power prop beam. So, kung iba naman yung trip mo, no? hindi mo trip mag-drawing, so, gamitin natin niya ng double integration method. So, using double integration method, so, kailangan natin i-recall yung mga rules natin. For rule number one, kapag magko-consider ka ng x mo, yung kailangan dyan is dapat yung makocover niya yung buong segment natin. So, for this part, so, kailangan covered niya yung buong segment natin. Lahat ng segment from segment AC, segment CD, and segment DB. So, ito yung point B natin. So, for this part, siyempre, yung unahin muna natin piliin is ano yung origin natin. So, for this example, so, pipiliin ko na point B is, uh, is the origin. So, bakit point B yung pinili ko? So, kung sa point B tayo pipili, mangyayari niyan. So, ito yung origin natin. So, hahatiin natin yung beam natin at a certain distance x from B. Na-cover niya yung buong beam natin. So, ito yung x natin. Na-cover niya yung buong segment. So, na-cover ng x natin yung segment DB, segment CD, at saka segment AC natin. So, dito tayo magka-cut ng section natin. So, i-cut natin yung section natin dyan. Ayan. So, dito yung origin natin sa point P. Kasi kung mag-o-origin ka, dito sa point A natin, so, po-consider natin, draw natin ng mabilisan. So, ito yung prop beam natin. So, meron tayong support dito. So, kung dito tayo sa point A na nag-origin, mangyayari is, i-cover niya lahat ng segment. Kung i-cover niya lahat ng segment, mangyayari niyan is, mag apply pa tayo ng continuity condition dito sa uniform distributed load natin. So, matagal-tagal yung computation natin. Wherein, possible naman siya, kaso mahaba-haba lang yung solution natin. So, dito tayo sa mas madaling approach. Let's consider na point B as the origin. So, point B na lang tayo mag-origin kasi alam kong tamad tayong mag-solve. So, let's consider point B as our origin. So, for this part, mangyayari niyan is if point B is the origin, so kunin natin yung EIY double prime or yung moment natin dito sa kung saan tayo nag-cut. So, kung consider natin yung point B as the origin, mahati sa dalawa yung beam natin. So, we have the left part. So, etong left part na yan. And the right part. So, since point B yung kinonsider natin, we will consider yung right section natin. So, upon considering right section, EIY double prime. So, moment tayo dito. So, we have RB. So, kapag right section, that is counterclockwise is positive. So, RB multiplied by X minus yung 50 natin na concentrated. So, we have here na X minus 1. That will become yung moment arm natin minus itong uniformly distributed load natin na meron siyang 20 multiplied by that is X minus 2 Tapos, meron pa siyang moment arm na x minus 2. Kalahatiin natin. So, EIY double prime. Y double prime is now equal to RBX minus 50 x minus 1 
minus. So, 20 divided by, by 2, meron kang 10. X minus 2 squared. So, this will now become our equation number 1. So, meron na tayong value ng moment natin at that cutting section. So, right now, we will go into integrate para makuha natin yung y prime. So, integrate, in, apply integral calculus minus 15 x minus 1 squared all over 2 minus 10 x minus 2 dagdag ng isa that is 3 all over 3 plus c sub 1. So, ayusin natin siya so, mangyayari niyan is we have EI y prime of RB x squared over 2 minus 25 x minus 1 squared minus 10 x minus 2 cube over 3 plus C1 that will now become our equation number 2. So, integrate natin ulit to solve for the value of y or yung deflection natin, deflection equation. So, that will become rb x over 3. So, 2 times 3, we have 6 minus 25 x minus 1. So, yung 2 natin magiging 3 all over 3 minus 10 x minus 2. So, over 4 yan. All over 3 times 4, meron tayong 12 plus C1, X, plus C2. EIY is equal to RB, X, cube, over 6, minus X, minus 1, cube, over 3, minus. So, the worst term natin yan, so we have 5, X, minus 2, raised to the 4th, all over 6, plus C1, X, plus C2, that is our deflection equation. Let that be equation number 3. So, siyempre, using double integration method, yung mangyayari niyan is, we will going to know kung ano yung value ng C sub 1 natin and C sub 2. So, for the sake of, for the tawag dito, for the sake of discussion, um, papakita natin yung mga values niya. Pero kung titingnan mo, no, kapag sinabi natin C sub 1, so makikita siya dito sa slope general slope equation natin. Tama? So meaning to say, eto yung slope kung saan yung origin natin. So nag-start tayo sa B. Ano yung slope natin at B? That is equal to 0. Kasi nga mangyayari, since it is a cantilever, kung yung tangent line natin dyan, and since roller din to, mangyayari is yung slope niya dyan magiging 0. So, so, so hindi pala, so, yung sinasabi ko palang magzi-zero dyan, hindi pala magzi-zero yung slope natin dyan. So, yung magzi-zero dito is yung C sub 2 natin. Wherein, yung C sub 2 natin, makikita siya sa general deflection equation. Since makikita siya sa general deflection equation, yung C sub 2 natin, magzi-zero siya. Kasi wala namang deflection at point B. So, pakita natin, let's solve for the boundary conditions. So, apply joint conditions so at joint B so at joint B yung x natin dito is equals to 0 yung y natin dyan is equals to 0 so we will substitute that Substitute to equation number 3. So we have 0 is equals to, itong equation 3 natin ha, RB 
yung x natin is 0 over 6 minus 25. So, 0 minus 1 cube all over 3 minus 5. 0 minus 2 raised to the 4th all over 6 plus c sub 1 times 0 plus c sub 2. So, mangyayari niyan, eto, this will become 0. c sub 1, magsi 0 yan. And also, since negative yung value natin dito, 0 minus 1, negative siya. So, mangyayari niyan is i-disregard natin siya. Same with here, kasi 0 minus 2, that is negative. So, etong parehas na to i-disregard natin. So, napakita natin that the value of your C sub 2 is only equal to 0. Ngayon naman, papakita natin naman, hahanapin natin kung ano yung value ng C sub 1 naman natin. So, lagi tayong mag apply ng joint conditions. So, after the joint at B, so dito tayo sa susunod at joint A naman. So, joint A, what is the value of your x? That is equal to 5. The value of your y is equal to 0. And, Lagay na natin yung C2 natin. So, substitute natin yan sa 3. So, we will have 0 is equals to RB 5 cube over 6 minus 25. Substitute lang natin siya. 25. So, meron tayo dito na 5 minus 1 cube over 3. Minus 5. So, 5 minus 2 raised to the 4th all over 6 plus C1 times 5 plus the value of C2 which is equal to 0. So, kung aayusin natin yan, so we have 0 is equal to 125 RB all over 6 minus 3605 all over 6 plus 5c sub 1. So, this will now become our another equation. So, nilarite lang natin yung general slope equation natin at saka yung general moment, general deflection equation natin. So, ayusin lang natin to. So, we will have so 125 RB over 6 minus plus 5C1. So, transpose natin sa kabila itong 3605 from negative magpa-positive yan. So, let this be our equation number 4. So, next naman. So, meron na tayo equation for RB and equation for C1. So, at joint A, so, at joint A, yung value ng x natin dyan is 5. Hindi lang naman yung deflection yung 0 dyan. Kasi yung slope natin sa A is also equal to 0. So, y prime natin dyan is equal to 0. Siyempre, yung c sub 2 is equal to 0. Substitute natin sa 3. So, eto yung equation number 3 natin, no? So, this is our equation number 3. And this is our equation number 2. So, substitute natin siya sa equation number 3. So, we will have... So, equation number 2 pala. Kasi, yung y prime natin yung 0. So, we have 0 is equals to RB. 5 squared over 2 minus 25. 5 minus 1 squared minus 10 5 minus 2 quantity cube over 3 plus C1 So, kung aayusin natin yan, mangyayari is we will have 0 is equal to 
25 RB all over 2 minus. So, we will have 490. Kasi, isi-simplify mo yung dalawang to. So, you will have negative 490 plus C1. So, kung aayusin natin siya, mangyayari niyan, we have 25 RB all over 2 plus C1 is equals to 490. So, let that be our equation number 5. So, meron na tayong mga unknowns natin is RB at C1. RB, C1, we have two unknowns, two equations. Masasolve na natin yan. So, gagawin lang naman natin is equate. Equation 4 and 5. So, paano natin i-equate yan? So, magdagamit tayo ng elimination method or dun sa mode natin sa calculator, gagamitin natin is mode. So, lagyan natin mode 5, 1. So, dun sa mode 5, 1 natin, so, kung makikita ninyo na yung mode 5, 1, mode 5, 1, mode 5, so, yung, yung syntax natin dyan is pag ganito, a n x plus b n y is equals to C, N. So, input lang natin yung mga values natin dyan. So, equals lang natin. Equals. Pindutin lang natin yung 1. So, input natin sa A. Input lang natin yung mga values natin dun sa equation na yon. So, makukuha na natin yung value ng R sub B natin and value ng C sub 1 natin. So, the value of your R sub B is now equal to 44.38 kN. Yung C sub 1 naman, that is equal to negative 64.75 kN meter squared. So, yun naman yung slope natin at B. Kung saan yung origin natin. So, naka- over EI pa yan. So, right now, nakuha na natin yung reaction natin sa B. So, kapag nakuha natin yung reaction natin sa B, gagamitin lang natin yung summation moment, same lang yung application natin sa area moment. So, magsasummation moment tayo dito sa A. So, we will consider whose structure summation moment tayo sa A. Makukuha natin yung MA natin. Summation forces vertical tayo, makukuha naman natin yung value ng reaction at A natin. So, ganito lang yung procedure natin using double integration method.